smells like sh Hey everyone, welcome back. It's your boy Mark. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to eliminate that foul odor that's inside your car that's just lingering inside the vents. Now a great way to do it, there's two versions, there's two ways of doing it, but I'm going to do it this method. This method feels like it's a lot, it consumes this a lot more easier going through the cabin instead of the hood because there's one the version that uh mainly that you'll see online teaches you how to spray this inside the vent but from the outside through the hood i'm not doing it that way i'm doing it through the engine cabin because that's where the filter contains all the um contaminates all that um that residue and that can lead to a foul odor now what you'll know, make sure the car is off at first because you never want to do this while the car is the cars turned on and while the uh, fan is rotating and cut your fingers that way. So the car is off. I have the key right here. What I'm going to do is, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to remove these two hinges that I see here so I can expand this all the way down and get into my cabin filter. After that, you can touch it because the car is off. You're going to feel the blade. That right there, once the engine is on, you're gonna power it on. You're gonna spray this can right here, Lysol, to eliminate all that bacteria, that foul lingering order that's inside your vents. You're gonna do it through that fan there. It's gonna suck it all in, but we're gonna do a step-by-step -step because we're gonna go through all the vent options that you have in your car. So let's get to it. First things first, let's remove this right here. come down that's it there goes your cabin filter all well, the cabin filter cover see there you go now I'm gonna take a look at the cabin filter I already did this in the video oh well we might as well do it while we're here it's not that bad because I changed it a couple of months ago We're just gonna leave this in the side. What we're gonna do now, again, the uh, car is turned off. I have the key right here. You can put your hand here and you can feel the rotation of the fan, okay? That's what you wanna do. You're gonna spray this while the car is on. I'm gonna touch, teach you the settings step by step because you wanna keep doing, you wanna spray this. I'm gonna use this whole can today on the vents because each time I dry, I smell that foul odor. Or even when I have the car parked and the next following day, it stinks. Sometimes I leave the windows down during the night just so it doesn't stink when I wake up in the morning. So I know there's foul bacteria, dead stuff inside my vents. So I'm going to clean it and the first step I'm going to do is now is I'm going to turn on the car. Car is on. Let's see if I can show you guys. What you want is this button right here. Okay. What you're doing is be careful, don't put your finger in there because now the fan's on, it's rotating. But if you go near it, you can feel like that sucking in. That's the perfect time. Right now we have it on that setting, okay? And if you notice, I'm gonna put it on the highest. Okay, I'm gonna have it on high for the top fence. I don't know if you can see my photo, but that means it doesn't have the feet, it just has the top fence, not the bottom. So right now let's go with that one.
sand is called driftwood waters. But again, just because you get it on one setting doesn't mean you're done. Right now, it's only sucking in through one setting of the vents, the top vents. Depending on your car make, some vents, if it's old school cars, they only have top vents. And they don't have the bottom vents for your feet. Don't make that mistake thinking that you're only doing one vent and you're okay. No. You gotta do the other ones as well or else that that lingering order will come back. And this whole project only costs you about three, four bucks with this can and that's it. Instead of going to a mechanic and having them find out what is wrong with it, they're gonna charge you the hour for their labor. You're looking at about 80 bucks for taking it to a mechanic when you could have just done it yourself for three four dollars and 20 minutes of your time. Okay, I would say I'm gonna let that settle in for a couple of minutes. Now I'm gonna change it to a different mode. I'm gonna do just the feet now. So that means when I spray this inside that vent, inside the uh, fan here, it's only gonna go through the vents, excuse me, only to the vents that it's for your feet. So make sure it's on blast. Once you spray, stay out. 
do that. Oh, coming out of your vents. And that's about it. Uh, it's very simple. It only costs you about four dollars. This can right here, and you can do it yourself. Uh, I'm gonna let that just flow out of the car. I don't want to go in there because it does smell. You don't want to smell this continuously. It's not good for you. <clears throat> the can is almost done. It's very light now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that just continue, turn off the car, and then give it the last coat the remaining that I have here. Now, guys, if you're watching this video and you own a Hyundai Sonata, again, I'm talking about my years. This is 2009, 2010 right here, uh, Sonata NF. If you pop your hood, if you go online, you start seeing, if you go on YouTube and you check out videos on how to um, eliminate order, you're going to see that most cars, they pop the hood. And from the hood, you see the vents. I don't recommend going that route because there's things there there's especially a cover on your engine, at least on my car. There's a black engine cover that's covering the vents. You can still see the little holes and you can spray on the vent, but you're all you're really doing is just spraying it on the vent. It's not going through. You can smell it a little bit in your car, but if you have a bad odor, that's not the proper way to do it. The easiest, convenient way and thorough way of doing it is going through your cabin filter. That fan right there, just keep spraying that fan. That fan's gonna bring it all in. It's gonna suck in your Lysol and it's gonna go through all your vents. Make sure every five minutes you're going through one vent mode and then you go through the other mode. So you go to the top mode where the vents that only work on the top of the car and then you change the mode to your feet, to the bottom vents. So it only goes through that bottom vent. And then on the third coat, the third spray is when you do the top and bottom. All right? All right, guys. I hope this is useful and uh, save you guys money. This is Mark Bryce, and I'll catch you guys later.